Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a home decor thrift haul for you. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these and it's actually been a while since I filmed a video. We just got back from vacation and I wanted to hit up the thrift store just to see what I could find. So I'm gonna kind of do a hands-free video here. So I'm just gonna get right into it. This is all home decor items except one thing. And I'm gonna actually start off with that one thing. First item that I found at Sabres. As you can see, the tags are still on it. Um, it does have a few spots on it, but I can get those out. It's brand new, it's never been worn, and it was only 10 bucks. So I thought that was a good deal for a Steve Madden bag. Like I said, I do have to clean it. This is probably from my own table. <laughs> um, it's a light pink color, good for spring. So I really liked that. And I don't really find that many purses there that I like. So when I saw this, I was really excited. It was only $10. That was the only non-decor item that I purchased when I went. I didn't know that today, I don't know why today, but it's 40% off housewares at my savers. So I was very excited to see that. The first thing is kind of silly, but it's for our basement room. Um, it's a Gryffindor cup and we actually just came back from a trip to Florida and we stayed actually in Universal this time. So different change of pace. We're a Harry Potter family. We love Harry Potter. Um, so when I saw this, I was pretty excited. So this was 40% off. Um, and actually the girl told me that she thinks that someone donated a bunch of Harry Potter stuff because a few days ago she saw wands being purchased and I was like, no way. I was so bummed, but my daughter has quite the wand collection now. I'm just gonna, I have to figure out a way to display them down in the basement. Um, so I thought we could add this to our Harry Potter collection we have going on. So you guys know my love for rolling pins, right? <laughs> um, I just like to collect them and I especially like the ones that are one like piece together. You know what I mean? The handles aren't separate. I don't know if that makes any sense, but hopefully you know what I mean. This one was actually only $1.99 plus 40% off. Usually when I find them in Savers, they're at least $4 or more and I don't really want to spend that for something that's just going to sit on my counter. Um, so this one was a good deal and it was my favorite kind, so I picked that up. I do love stuff that's monogrammed, especially silver items or pewter. It is kind of beat up, but that's right. It was on sale, 40% off. Um, they had it marked at $3.99. It was being sold somewhere else for $5, but I thought it was cute and it can go um, with my collection of other silver stuff. I wanted it because it's an M and my daughter's name starts with an M, so that was cute. The next thing I grabbed was this swan planter. I've really been drawn to swans. I don't know why. With spring coming up, I like birds and all that. Um, and this one has an iridescent kind of coloring to it. It's dirty. I have to clean it. But I thought it would be really cute with a plant in it for spring or succulents or something like that without dumping the dirt everywhere. It was only $2.99 plus the discount. So it was a good deal and it's a good, um, it's a good size. And obviously someone made this in 1984. So, but I thought she was cute and I think she'll, I, I don't know where I'm gonna put her yet. I don't know if I'm gonna put her in my living room or out on my porch at the end of February. So I'm not thinking about <sighs> outdoors yet, but I can't wait. The next thing I grabbed was this hand mirror. It's double-sided, obviously it's kind of beat up, but it was only $1.99 plus 40% off. And I do have, um, sorry about the glare. I do have two more of these. So I have a little um, collection going of vintage hand mirrors. So I'm gonna put this actually in my guest room um, with my other two. It must have been another one to go with it, a guy or something. Um, it was only $4.99 plus the discount. And I feel like there's something else under there. So I might take it apart and see, but this is also gonna go in my guest room. I do have a collection of pictures, or it might go in my living room. I don't, I'm not sure yet, wherever it looks better. It's not fabric, I don't think. I'm not really sure what that is. But I thought she was cute, and she'll go good with the color scheme I have going with the rest of the pictures that I have. So I did pull out whatever was back there, and it was just this piece of paper for the actual frame when it was for sale. Okay guys, the last thing that I picked up was this vintage kitchen utensil i know what it's for grounding like your own spices and whatever something in there <laughs> you put something in there and you grind it up nuts spices i think but i like the color and i do have kind of a um 
little collection of vintage um, kitchen tools and stuff. And this was only $1.99. So I thought that was cute to add to my kitchen. All right, guys, that's it. That's everything I found at the thrift store. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.